Hello everyone, so what I'm going to show you is how to install ML Agents 14 with basically any um, Unity install. I guess um, you could use anything from 2019. Um, just to show, of course, uh, you have to go and um, download and install Unity. I'm using currently 2019.3.3 F1 um, for pretty much all of my projects. So Unity hub download so you wanna yeah you wanna download the hub to download unity hub here yeah, you can get that um, and then you can decide within that hub basically it's kind of an environment where you can manage your installations of the different uni unity um, installs right um, yeah that's pretty much that and the second one of course you need anaconda so anaconda Download. Um, yep. So it should be here, and you would just go and download Python three point seven version. Just click the download button. Um, go through the installation. I've done that already, of course. Um, yes. Cool. Um, and the third part you need to download for now, as far as I remember, is the actually the. Um, ML agents package. So you would go to the GitHub um, ML agents um, um, GitHub page. So uh, is this? Yeah, this seems fine. So Unity Technology slash ML agents. Um, so you basically have two different, um, let's say, options to download um, the version you want. Either you scroll down here straight away and you go for download right here, or um, how I like to do it, um, you go for releases and then you can choose um, from from this list of different um, versions. So, yeah, I've been trying around quite for some time to figure out how to install this because. Uh, the installation documentation on Unity ML agents does not seem to be uh, perfectly up to date, but I kind of finally figured out how, how this works. Um, cool, it's actually super, super, super simple. It's way too simple, so I probably overcomplicated this many times. So, um, you, I want to install the latest version, in that case, 0.14.1. Um, I'm just downloading the source code zip right here. I already have it, of course, in my downloads folder. Can cancel that and go. So, well, I'm going in here. Um, so this is it, right? This is 14.1. I unpackaged it already, unzipped it into this folder, um, which is perfectly fine. So. What do I have to do with this now? Um, so how I like to do it, my kind of workflow for this, I go into this folder and copy that. And then I create, for example, in my devs folder, I'm creating a new folder called ML agents 14.1 um, test project. Right, so then I'm going into that folder, pasting um, that folder from the ML agents download. Just to double check if this is correct, what I'm doing here, I look into this folder. Um, I have config and summaries. I should have summaries. No, I don't have summaries. <laughs> okay. Um, that's probably from the later versions. Um, but I think right now what I'm caring about is ML agents and ML agents amps because those are the two directories I have to install um, um, a couple of things, dependencies and so on and so forth um, from their instructions basically um, on how to do this. But you don't have to care about it. Um, we This will be automatically installed for you um, once we follow the steps. Okay, so this is our project let's say folder right um, in that specific folder I'm also creating my um, unity project so I go to my hub um, to projects so I'm creating a new new project heading to that path select folder type my name ml agents 14 
test. Okay, creating that project. There's a possibility that I have to restart that Unity project um, after I installed all the dependencies. That's for sure, but that shouldn't limit us or hinder us to make this work. Um, right. Okay. So here we go. This is our project, newly created. Perfect. I can kind of minimize that for now. Um, this is the structure I want in my um, folder. Right here is the the ML agents package we downloaded from GitHub, and this is my Unity project. Perfect. Okay, so next I need to open the Anaconda prompt, like this. I have some error messages, don't worry about it. you probably just gonna see something like that. Um, what I need to do is now, um, I let's say change my directory um, into the github download folder so in that project I'm grabbing this path here right here perfect changing directory to that path great and that's kind of my base kind of path right well you know the path I'm pretty much doing everything in um, from training um, to visualizing uh, summary data and so on and so forth. Okay, so next I need to create a new Anaconda environment. Um, and I have like a little cheat sheet. I will paste those um, comments into the info box of the YouTube video. Um, and so basically, how do I do that? How do I create a new Python, um, or sorry, a Anaconda environment? I type conda create minus n and then I can call that environment whatever I want so ml agents 14 or let me actually call it 0 0.14.1 because it's already existing for me I already installed or used that name and then I type python wait let me just bring this over here so it's a bit more clean um, and easy to see ML agents, my name, so this could be your name, right? Um, whatever you want. Um, and then I type Python equals to 3.7. I hit enter. It's going to ask me if I want to install a specific um, amount of packages right here. These are the packages I want to be installing. I say Y, type Y, and hit enter and it's installing all of these packages for me it's perfect all set um, so the next part um, what I need to do I'm going to um, activate that newly created um, um, environment and you can see already how that's done so you ch pretty much I don't know if you can copy that let's try oh yeah you can just copy that um, command right here and paste it activate and you will see straight away that the this kind of brackets will change into the active environment right before it was the base um, environment I was using and all the errors you saw was probably some deprecation of that base um, environment which I'm ne probably horribly neglecting anyway so we're gonna use our f newly created ML agents 0 0.14.1 um, environment that's perfect and we are in our base folder of our project in the ML agents folder, right? Not in the Unity um, folder. Cool. Um, so the next thing we need to do is, how I said, in these two folders, there are instructions of how to install dependencies for ML agents. So how we install those is very easy. First of all, we need to change directory into ml agents envs and install the dependencies it's very important to follow this um, exact um, order because there are dependencies in in ML, the ml agents folder which depend on whatever has been installed in ml agents envs at least that's uh, as far as i know that from documentation i've read so easy 
let's do it. Change directory, ml minus agents minus envs. Make sure we are in there. Perfect, we are in. Type pip install minus e dot. And this will install a bunch of things. Great, that seems to be all done, successfully installed. Yep, no errors, perfect. So let's go back to the base um, directory. And then let's go back into the next step. So change directory into ml-agents. And then we're typing again, pip install minus e dot, perfect. Okay, I think the second part is going to take a bit longer than the first one. This seems to be all good, yeah, seems to be fine, cool. What we need to do right now, well, we don't necessarily need to do it, but it's um, probably one of the common mistakes. Let's go back out of this ML agents folder. So change directory dot dot so we are in I, how I was calling this kind of base um, directory um, perfect okay so this is how your kind of command um, line should look like of course um, different directory depending on where your project is okay but let's see what we can do here um, this is our project um, uh, so what I'm gonna do is in this folder. So sorry, this is our base folder, right? Where is our where there is our Unity project as well as our ML Agents folder, and in the ML Agents folder we can find a couple of example projects under project, and then asset, and from here I can just drag that folder into my assets, like this. And um, yeah, don't get um, scared. There's uh, a ton of errors coming up now because we are still missing a couple of installs. So let's see how I said in the beginning. Um, potentially we have to uh, close and reopen Unity, but let's see how that goes. So yes, there are a ton of errors, uh, but we will fix this right away. Um, so under Windows, Package Manager, um, you basically go for um, Barracuda. Oh, nope. Show preview packages. Here we are. Perfect. Looks good. Install. That's all done. Um, and ha how I said, it's a neural network um, library. Uh, perfect. So here we go. And so the last part missing is it doesn't understand yet um, where or what the ML agents um, library is. Um, so that's easily done as well. I don't know why I actually closed that package manager. Um, you can just keep it open and press the plus button right here and say add package from disk. And what you want to do is, so this is the project um, folder, I believe, is that correct? Oops. Yeah, I called it differently. Here we go. Um, this is it. And I go into that folder I downloaded from GitHub. Um, navigate to com.unityMLAgents and open the package.json file. Perfect. That 
is being installed. Okay, perfect. We close that. We can see that all of our error messages are gone. Basically, the red ones are the problematic ones, which will hinder you from run anything at all. The yellow ones you can most of the times just neglect. Um, okay, just to make sure that this is actually working, um, I'm going into my ML agents folder for examples, and I'm using the push block because I kind of started off with that um, whenever I started using ML agents, so it's kind of my personal hello world. Um, go for scenes and push block, open it up. Perfect. Um, here it is. Bunch of this, let's say, an academy or school of these agents. Um, and yeah, that's um, almost pretty much what we wanted. Now, looking at this prompt, the op um, uh, opening up the Anaconda prompt again. Um, how I said, it's very important that we are in the correct um, location and we can just use the standard kind of training command you can also find on um, um, on the GitHub repo of ML agents. Um, I believe you can find it under learning training. Let me see. Um, right here here so under there you go for docs so sorry so oops let me go back in the main directory right of the ml agents repo um, I guess under docs you can find um, doo -doo -doo, basic guide I don't know if I hope they show you how to run something here already basic guide Yes, right. This is this kind of basic um, command you would use to uh, run an initial kind of test or whatever. Um, basically, it's using the configuration from your trainer config, and there's no um, curriculum learning or loading of any old um, networks. It's very basic, right? Cool. So that's what I also filled in here. It's exactly the same thing. What I can change is after dash dash run dash id equals to and i can give a specific name to that um, um, let's say the specific run right so i can uh, later on find it um, and for example visualize uh, how well the agent did or the school of agents did right so this is the command i can just take if i paste it here oh, come on paste okay here we go hit enter um, and then this unity kind of symbol should appear it's gonna ask you if that's okay I'll allow a axis um, scroll down a little bit start training by pressing the play button in unity perfect I'll do that and off we go that's it so let's wait for at least one episode to finish it's very cool how they changed um, in the new version the visualization of this race or these perceptions I actually did that manually um, in the older versions that the color would change depending on how close uh, an agent would be to elements of um, the environment and so on and so forth so it's very cool that they changed that um, yes all right they're all training nicely and happily and here we go our first episode is over um, and we are showing a mean reward and a standard distribution of the reward perfect that's it here you go i'm ready to um, Go crazy with MLA Agents 14. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.